hey everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel it's Khadija I know it's been a long time coming and excuse my voice if it sounds funny the weather is crazy and I have allergies so I just wanted to come and give you guys an update I hope you enjoyed my video on me dyeing my hair she said I have braids now so you can't see it as well as my um PCT video on me working 11-11 shift at the, in the emergency room. So I just wanted to come to you guys and give you an update on what's going on with my life and everything with me. Um, oops. I wanted to first start off saying Happy New Year. Happy 2023. I hope everyone's year is off to a great start. I hope you've all made your goal list on what you want to accomplish this year and you're getting ready to do great things this year and I'm just rooting sorry I'm just rooting for you all because I know how important it is for us all to accomplish our goals and get everything together I'm sorry it took me so long to just give you guys an update on my life you know it's been a little sorry I just keep kicking my hammer it's been a little crazy well it's been uh, it's been busy um, full of highs and lows just you know just different stuff going on in my life and I'm finally having time before every before this year really gets going that I need to sit down and you know record this video and give you guys an update I actually did record this video previously but I didn't really like it because I was driving down the road and it was really loud and the lighting wasn't great so I was like I'm gonna redo it but I'm just not able to get to do it so sorry for the delay again welcome and welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe below make sure you comment any questions you have about anything any ideas any content that you want to see in particular you know any I um, anything you want to do so I have a niece who wants to do a mukbang so maybe we'll try to do a video like that just to you know get more content on here and just you know I'm all up for any suggestions but again and um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, as you all know, I was in P PA school, and I'm gonna put an uh, emphasis on was because I am no longer in PA school. And I say that with, you know, of course, that was the disappointment behind it. But again, I am okay. Everything happens for a reason. You know, life happens. And that was not what God had intended for me at that point in time in my life. And I am okay with it. I have learned a lot about myself in these past few months. Um... And I've grown a lot and I could not be more excited for what the future holds than I than I than I was. So um I think my last video regarding school was I had gave an update on the semester, so and like kind of tips on what I wanted to do to um, you know, do better. So just to kind of um, catch you up on everything, the fall semester, prior to that semester started, I had a lot of drama going on outside of school. And then as the, sem as the semester started and began, I had, it's like, I had more drama from, um, I would say roommate drama. It was a very, very stressful situation, um, and it made being in school full-time for the first time in a minute very difficult. It, it, it took away from my ability to focus, and on top of, you know, imposter syndrome being at an all-time high, it was just a lot going on that was that was um, kind of shifting my focus in different directions and preventing me to preventing me from being the student that I knew I could be and it started to all take a toll on me and 
and it kind of it made it made school really really tough it made you know figuring out what i needed to do to study very hard because i felt like i could not focus i did not know what was going on i did not really feel like myself um and it was just like very difficult and I started having experiencing a lot of anxiety and this stuff was it was it was really hard I know school was already gonna be hard anyways but it made it more difficult so as 2020 2022 began I kind of got rid of a lot of the distractions and things that were going on outside of school where I could really focus on school which helped some but you have to remember I was already kind of in a hard place because of the prior semester it's like I was playing catch up that's how I felt like it was like I was trying to you know re-go over the material from the previous semester because I felt like I didn't learn anything or nothing really stuck um on top of learning the new material and then it's like I was just now starting to figure out what worked for me as far as studying. So, granted, there was highs, more highs in that semester. Those those lows that I had experienced the first semester kind of made it hard for me to get where I needed to be to, um, to do as well as I wanted to do, I guess. So I ended up having to discontinue the program because I ended up making a um, an additional C than I could than I was allowed to make in that particular program. So I I had to discontinue it, and you know, at the time I was you know really down, but I kind of. I tried to stay as positive as I could. You know, I was doing a lot of praying. I was just trying to, you know, keep myself up. You know, at first, after I had to discontinue, you know, I was really sad about it. But I, I, but I remember, you know, things happen for a reason. God has a plan for me. I tried to remain, you know, positive in the whole situation. And I was also, you know, doing counseling and things like that just to, you know, stay positive and hopeful. Got my way, I dug my way out. Well, I wouldn't say I. By the grace of God, I was able to, you know, get my mind together and my mental health together. It wasn't as devastating as it could have been. Um... I didn't allow myself to get down about it. Yes, there was the negative, um, the negative thoughts in my head. You know what people, what are people gonna think? This and that. But I still brought. I still was like, no, everything happens for a reason. You will be successful. This was just not the path that God had intended for you. So it took a while for me to, you know, really emphasize that statement on my life and you know how they say give yourself grace it took a while for me to actually you know do that for myself and once I actually started giving myself grace it's been up from there and it's been really good so I started um and like things like me like I started back and this this is how crazy that semester was. I had um, started back working out and I was trying to work out consistently. I think in the spring semester I probably worked out maybe two or three times. And that was rough. So um, since May of last year I've literally worked out consistently four to five, three, I would say four to five times a week. And it's felt really good. I have a uh, I've noticed like in my in the toneness of my body and stuff like that um I've made a lot of progress in the gym I've gotten stronger so I'm happy about that I know I did I want to start posting more fitness stuff on here I created a fitness Instagram to kind of track my progress so if you want to keep up with that you feel free to follow um and I you know I post stuff on TikTok and whatnot so I've been, you know, trying to be good in the health industry, fitness. 
I've been in that. I've been trying to, you know, stay focused because that is my, um, I guess my getaway. So when things get stressful, go to the gym, um, work out, and it makes me feel a lot better. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of photography because I was back working. I've done some, but I was back working full time. So I was doing that. What else um, was I doing? Trying to keep up, you know, trying to get time in with friends and family. I know I, I'm i trying to do better on that end. You know, I'm working on paying off debt. So it's a lot of things I have in store that I'm trying to focus on. But I know a lot of you want, are wondering, well, what am I doing now? Um, what's my next plan since I'm not in PA school anymore? And that's why I want, I, I meant to shoot this video a lot sooner than now, but I'm just now able to get to it. But my plan, are, well, on Monday, I, well, yeah, on Monday, I will be start, well, I, well, I technically already started. But I will be doing a, doing an accelerated program to get my master's in nursing. So, that's what I'll be attending. I, you know, got accepted in grad school in November, October or November. Um, so I was really excited about that. I, I got accepted. And I'm really excited about, you know, what's in store for me. Because, you know, my goal is to, you know, be positive about everything. Have a better outlook on life. Give, us, give myself grace. Because, you know, as a, I guess, I wouldn't say growing up, but... There was a time where I was like, well, I expected to be a lot further in my career than I am at the time, at this time and age. And I want to say that I am doing great where I am. Like, I've accomplished a lot to be, um, and I'm proud of myself. I know I've made um, my parents proud, and so I'm happy, like... I'm excited, so I'll be working on my master's in nursing. I start first day class on Monday. I did orientation this past week, and I'll be doing that. I will be trying to do footage on that. I'm not sure how much I can do because as we talked during orientation, it was a lot of, you know, you can't be recording and stuff like that in hospitals, and I don't want to risk trying to get in trouble or anything. So I'll see what I can and cannot do otherwise it would be more so me just coming home and talking about what I experienced because I don't want to risk you know getting in trouble or anything like that no HIPAA violations are coming this way so but I am super excited um I'll let you see okay so face full of makeup because we had a photo shoot today because uh, J13 is coming up. If, if you don't know what that is, January 13th, the best day ever. It was the day Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated was founded. Um, so, it's our founders, Founders Day, and we had a photo shoot. So, I can't wait to see those photos. Um, I plan to have this this video up before, the, before then, so I won't be able to attach any photos to that. But, um... <clears throat> Other than that, everything has been okay. And I say that because this year started off a little, you know, a little rocky. Um, I lost a family member as well as um, my, I, my cat Jasper passed away. And I'll insert a picture of my little baby. Um, and it, it, was, it was hard because Jasper came in my life. In the midst of all that I was dealing with when I when I was in school, and I had ne I would never have imagined having being a cat mom or anything, but he is literally like he fell into my lap at a time where I really needed emotional support, and he loved me and I loved him and it was awesome. My son, look, people like you got kids. I have a son. His name is Jasper. It's my cat. So I miss. I'm going to really miss him. I'll um. 
I may eventually um, get another fur baby, but probably not right now since I'm getting ready to start school. And it's going to be a busy, some busy year because um, three semesters of full time, like 18 plus credits. But I, again, I am excited. I have a wonderful class. And it's starting. It's I've made some um, great relationships with my class, my cohorts so far. You know we're still getting to know each other, but uh, we're gonna rock out. We're gonna do really good together. Um, shout out to my class. Hey everyone. Um, cohort sixteen. But um, again, I am excited. You know everything happens for a reason. For all those people who are going through a difficult time right now, and you have a lot of questions, just know that. Everything is going to work in your favor. Um, you're going, you're doing great. Give yourself grace. You're awesome. And I pray that everyone has an amazing year. I know another one of my fitness goals is to compete in a powerlifting competition. Yes, you girls trying to compete in a powerlifting competition. So I'm going to try to do that. That's one of my goals this year is to actually, you know, do a competition, you know, see how it goes, see, see if that's something I want to do. But again, I am working, um, you know, on my fitness and I'll try to post more fitness videos. I'm trying to do better with this content thing, guys. But again, give me like, comment below. Give me suggestions. Again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy New Year again, and I pray that everyone does amazing this year and accomplishes all your goals. And you have an amazing year and beyond. Thank you guys again, and I pray that you have a great day. Bye. Bye.